Hey, what's up, guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I have the RB951 series MicroTik router, and I want to show you how I set it up. All right, let's get into it. All right, so here is the unboxing of this router here. First of all, in the box here, we have a manual here or a setup guide, right? It's multilingual. Then we have a power cable here. So this router is powered by AC power, right? Yes. And then, of course, the router itself, Microtech router board right here. So this is the RB951 series, as you can see here, right? It comes with five Ethernet ports here yes and a couple of uh, led indicators so let's uh, get into it i'll show you the connections now how i connected it up for the initial setup all right i had to power on the router using ac power and the provided power cable and then next i had to connect the router to my isp router here using an ethernet cable so the router doesn't come with an ethernet cable you'll have to improvise for that yes so i just have to connect it to one of the ethernet ports of my isp router so i just connected it to ethernet one for my router and on the microtech i had connected to ethernet one as well and then for configuration purposes i had to connect this router here to my linux machine although that is optional you can actually connect to it via a wi-fi yes but for our initial configuration i usually recommend that you use ethernet so i connected it to port 2 of the rb51 router here yes so that is all that you need to get this router going and as you can see now the setup is complete i connected it to my isp router and then connected it to my linux laptop for configuration purposes as you can see here very nice and sweet all right, so on my Linux laptop, as you can see, the Ethernet icon is showing, which means that the connection is set up. The laptop gets its IP from DHCP automatically. And then here you can see it uh, has the default route or gateway as 192.168.8.1. So this is the IP that you want to copy. And now we are going to open our web browser here type it in and then use the web fig or web configuration for the microtech yes there is the other option that i'm going to be showing you which is using winbox but let's start with the basic or the option that doesn't require any installation so let me log in right now here the default username is admin and then the password, you'll have to obtain it from the back of the router. Now, some uh, setups say that you can leave this as blank, but for me, it didn't work. So I had to use the password that is imprinted in the back of the router. After logging in here, I have a very quick setup or default configuration showed to me here. It says that uh, set a strong router password. You'll have to go to system users menu, and then you can also upgrade the software, enable the firewall and so forth. Yes, so let's close this and then quickly get into the configuration here. So this is a quick set or quick settings here. And uh, it just shows uh, the basics here, the defaults actually, the network name, which starts with MicroTik, and then some alphanumeric characters, the frequency is automatically uh, chosen for you. The band is 2.4 gigahertz, as this router only supports Wi-Fi 4 or the 2.4 gigahertz band. Uh, you can select the country and so forth yes and then of course here we have the ip address and the subnet by default it comes on 192.168.88 right that's a subnet yeah so this is it from here how to go to webfig for more sophisticated configurations here 
So this is the dashboard that, you know, Microtix have. It's a little intimidating, I must admit, actually, compared to TP-Links and uh, Netgears and other routers that I've used. But it also means that it's a very, very powerful router here. And it's mostly used for hotspot business. Yeah, so we shall get into that in probably later videos. But for now, I want to do a really simple setup guide here. All right, so you can see on the left panel, we have a number of options here, such as wireless interfaces, uh, IP. We have a user's system, routing, and so forth, right? So you can do a number of things on this router here. But what you probably want to quickly do is to change the user password. The default one is strong enough, but if you really want to do that, then go to systems here and then come to users down here and then tap on admin, which is the default user here. And then you can now change the password, right? Yes that is one of the first time configurations that you can do and then the other configuration that you can do is to change the wi-fi password and to do that you can come to wireless here on the left panel okay and then tap on wi-fi interfaces all right this is going to give you information about wi-fi interfaces but if you want to change the password then you can just come to security profiles here and then tap on default you will be able to see the password field and you can change it all right so this is how you use the web fig i like this because you don't have to install any additional software however winbox is actually way way more powerful and is the recommended option. So come to microtech.com slash downloads here. And then from the drop down menu, you can select your operating system, whether that is Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. For me, I'm using Mac now for this particular setup. So I already downloaded it. I'm going to install Winbox here by double clicking on it. And uh, yeah, it is right here. Yes, now Winbox should be able to automatically detect your Microtech router as long as it's connected to the Wi-Fi network of that router. Yes, so how do you do that? You can connect to the Wi-Fi network using the SSID and the password imprinted at the back of the Microtech router. Yeah, I did that already and I connected to the Microtech Wi-Fi router. So you should give it a couple of uh, seconds or you can click on refresh here before your Microtech router is actually detected. Yes, and then now here on the left panel here, you should be able to now log in using the default username, which is admin, and then the password is imprinted at the back of the Microtech router. I tried to just uh, log in with a password blank, but this did not work for me, as the user manual says, but you'll have to use what's in the back of the router. Yeah. So this is the Winbox interface here. As you can see, it's way more powerful and more robust than WebFig. And yeah, so again, you can just go and change the Wi-Fi password or just see the status here of your Wi-Fi connection by going to wireless and then interfaces. And then you can tap on the default here and then you can see the default configurations here or you can change and set it to whatever you want but i like that you have traffic data here that is being shown to you in real time and you can see transmission and uh, receiving speeds or packets and then here on system you can go to system and then just update all the packages right yeah so that your uh, system is up to date so that is really a very basic walkthrough of the microtech interface using webfig and winbox 
and uh, i think i'll be exploring this router a little bit more in upcoming videos but i totally love how powerful it is although it is very very intimidating for beginners right yes so this marks the end of our video if you like this video go ahead and give us a like uh, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one